I'm Maddox, one of the teachers here at Intrepid English. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, my new course called Learning Online. So uh, as you can see, it's for the intermediate levels, uh, pre-intermediate and upper intermediate as well. The internet is a giant network of information that connects millions of people around the world, which you probably knew because you're probably using the internet right now. So in order to navigate everything that the internet has to offer um, and using the devices that go along with that, there's some English vocabulary and terminology that you need to master. This course will walk you through some of that basic vocabulary. Uh, basically, the course is about some of the vocabulary that you may find yourself needing if you are learning or working online. Um, you're probably watching this online, so that's probably going to be useful. Um, so this course is related to um, studying anything online at all. Could be taking online uh, language classes, like at Intrepid English. Could be um, doing work remotely uh, with the pandemic. That's become a lot more common. Uh, or attending a university or another program remotely. Um, as well as just general vocabulary for things like uh, troubleshooting problems with your devices or uh, talking about what you see on your screen. Um, so it covers a lot of different topics within that. As you can see here, this course has three different lessons. Um, the first one is about getting online, kind of the starter lesson. The next one is about webinars and meetings specifically, um, so using platforms like Zoom or Google Meet. Um, and the third one is called Real Success in the Virtual World, and it's about some of the habits um, that you can develop to uh, make sure that you enjoy the same success working or studying online as you do doing it in person or in real life. Um, each lesson uh, has a couple of different topics, and each topic has um, the first kind of informational topic where you will learn all the content. Then there's a practice activity, uh, which will be, you know, a writing assignment or listening or reading or different kinds of activities to apply what you've learned. And then last, there's a quiz uh, to kind of check your understanding and see if you need to go back and review anything. So there are going to be a couple of different stopping points, um, usually after activities uh, or during the informational topic sections of the course, where I'm going to encourage you to share what you're learning on our community. Um, so if you see the little icon at the top of the bar, um, at the top of the website, you'll see it says community, and there you can find everything that everybody's been posting and sharing and talking about. Um, so it's very easy to just uh, type in, you know, whatever you're interested in sharing. As you can see, I might want to share that I love this new course, um, and I could go into more detail about, um, you know, the, the phrasal verbs that I'm practicing, or the new vocabulary that I learned to talk about the hardware of a computer. Um, um, it also encourages you in different parts of the course to book a lesson with a teacher to practice uh, what you're learning. Um, this can be, you know, at any point, uh, if you find something that you're struggling with, that you would like someone to explain to you, um, you know, in their own words, face to face. Um, or if you're just really interested in part of the course and you feel like you want to go deeper and you want to learn more. Up next to community, you can see another place called Lessons. And if you click on that, it's easy enough to book a one-on-one -on -one lesson uh, with any of the teachers, including me. Um, so you can just click on the handy book a lesson button, and you will see there how to do that. So if at any point you're struggling with something or there's something that you want to go deeper on, feel free to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoy this course. Let's get started. Mm -hmm.